Hey guys, and welcome to another Gravy's Brew Review with me, Gareth Goes Gravy. And for this one, as you saw from the title at the beginning, and as you can see from the title below, it's homebrew review time. Again, as you saw from the title at the beginning, I'm going to be reviewing my own version of a Thomas Cooper's Pilsner. Uh, obviously, being in the uh, kit bottles, there's no label. But what I can tell you is after about three weeks of fermentation, primary and secondary, I got this up to around about 4.2% ABV. Now, before I crack on, uh, if you saw my video of myself uh, brewing this beer, um, one thing that I changed just a little bit uh, was, as you could probably see from the notes in that video, uh, in the comment, in the description, excuse me, uh, I was given a little bit of advice from a friend who mentioned to me to uh, throw some more dextrose into the mix. Because, as you probably saw from that video, I wasn't all that happy with, I think I've got the initial ABV to around about 2.9%. I added an extra 300 grams of dextrose uh, in some boiling water, which again, as I just mentioned, knocked it up to around about 4.2%. Uh, so, all well and good. Um, the, uh, the video of me making this particular brew was my last homebrew video, so if you want to go back and watch that, you can do. But anyway, again, there's not a whole lot to go on. As I said, there's nothing in the bottle. Some nice aromas. I'm not going to get in the. Uh, not going to get too much in the bottle. I'm just going to get it straight poured. See what we've got, and go from there. Now I will admit, um, even though I have about 40 some odd bottles of it in my kitchen. This is actually the first time I'm actually tasting this, so I'm quite looking forward to seeing how well this has turned out. Um, no head to speak of, just a little bit, well just a few bubbles just uh, kind of clinging onto the side. Colour, looking at a light, well, mid-amber, light to mid-amber. As you can see, carbonation is very powerful punchy. Might have been more to do with the fact that uh, I had to rinse this glass out uh, just before I did this review, so that might have something to do with it. I don't know. <coughs> anyway, let's get on with the glass. Let's see what we've got aromas wise. I was kind of expecting that kind of aroma. It smells a little bit grassy, a little bit, not wheaty, but a little bit grassy, kind of wet grass kind of aroma. A little bit of fruitiness there, can't exactly uh, pick out what it is. Uh, you probably could tell by the uh, bottle when I showed it just a second ago. Uh, I have virtually just taken this out of the fridge, so that might just be uh, playing with the uh, aromas a little bit. I don't know. Anyway, not really getting much on the smells, so I'm just going to go in for a taste. Cheers. flavours it is actually uh, a lot nicer than the aromas. On the flavours there's actually a biscuity aroma uh, flavour there which is quite nice. Um, it is a little bit harsh, a little bit bitter. Not too overpowerful punchy despite the uh, carbonation. Um, 
A little bit of fruitiness there, a little bit grapefruity kind of flavour. Hmm. That's not too bad. Um, once again, I'm uh, quite pleased with myself. Uh, I will admit that unlike my previous two uh, homebrew reviews, this one I have let uh, condition for the three weeks. I didn't bring you a review of it. Uh, after about 10 days, not that, that probably would have made any difference. Um, but that's that's actually quite nice. Mm. Again, I'm quite pleased with myself. Mm. <laughs> Excuse me. Not much going through it on the bed. Mm. Anyway, I think what I'm going to do, I'm not going to sign off with it, I'm going to let that uh, settle down <laughs> if possible with the carbonation uh, I'm going to let it raise up in temperature see if it uh, affects the uh, flavour at all once it kind of comes to room temperature and whatnot. but I'm going to quickly wrap this one up um, mm. again I'm actually quite pleased with myself <laughs> um, something I haven't actually done before which I will do uh, for this one um, down in the description I'm going to pop a link to um, the website address for homebrew online where I bought the kit uh, or bought this particular kit from I'll drop a link down there in the description uh, if you'd like to have a go at this um, again details will be down there where you can get it from Especially those of you here in the UK. I don't know about overseas. Um, overseas you might have your own homebrew shops that uh, stock this. Uh, it's the same here in the UK as well. Check out your local homebrew supplier. Get you sent some of this. But again, uh, for the main, in my case, I will pop a link to homebrew online. Now guys, well, that was just my hopeful quick review of this particular homebrew kit. As always, if you have any general comments, questions, queries about the kit, drop them down there in the comments, uh, and we'll get some discussion going. And if any homebrewers out there have made this uh, kit before, and you agree or disagree with what I've said in the course of this video, and if there's been any ways that you guys have improved uh, any you know, it, I've improved the kit, excuse me, uh, don't be afraid to drop those suggestions down there, and uh, who knows, I might actually uh, make this again, and I'll try and improve on it. Now guys, well, that's all I've got for you for now. So, from Gravy's Brew Review, this has been Gareth Goes Gravy, and I'll see you later. Cheers.